The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the, uh, the Dow Industrials down 19. You have the NASDAQ off 14. S&Ps are off 2.5. Gold. Gold is uh, trading down a buck, twelve eighty-six an ounce. We have silver down a penny, sixteen dollars eighty-one cents. But yet, you had some divergence yesterday. Uh, they whacked the gold market. Silver still haven't uh, taken that self. And normally, it's just the opposite. Yeah, you know? silver usually moving a little bit more. Yeah, not moving quite as much as gold yesterday. The uh, light sweet crude up forty cents, fifty-two dollars fifty-four cents a barrel. Uh, we get natural gas at three oh three. We get those numbers coming out. Excuse me, folks, at 10.30 this morning. Notes, 10-year note flat, 125.13, 30-year bond down 14 ticks, 152.17. Now, both notes and bonds, they took out that swing point with conviction. They had the wide price spread. They had the volume. That's saying they're going lower. That being said, the 30 is at 152.17. So the price projection is approximately 150. It still has to get under 147 to break a major swing okay. going back 17 years. Okay. Isn't that crazy? We'll see. And, and exactly. So you, we, that's exact. We'll see, meaning, is rate, our rates really going to basically yeah. go up? Hey. King dollar. King dollar's down at 201 ticks, trading at 92.960. You have the euro trading at 118 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 112 and a half to the U.S. dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Think or Swim platform, Great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. You're going to see the banner on the very top, on the side. You can hit the banner. Bring up the platform. It's a phenomenal platform. You want a professional platform. You want Kevin, TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim team to walk you through it each and every day. Well, you can listen right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Great show. They not only walk you through it, they walk you through the different strategies that you can use in order to basically get your head wrapped around this market and get in there and try to make a profit there you go it's a beautiful thing kevin hanks what's going on good morning tom good morning tommy Hi. day four of greek week that's yeah. what we're into today i'm telling you i love that show yesterday man they get they get they get you busy kevin <laughs> <laughs> that's right i'm joe i wear many hats tom as you, you know and you know what they're they're all great i mean uh, there's no doubt we were listening you know we always listen but what does happen is that as you're building all those you know, Greeks up, understanding, you know, exactly which way you want to be, it, it's, it makes a big difference, man. Right, you know? right. And today is, the, is really the, the, the one that gets the least attention, which is gamma. Okay. That's what we're going to work on today. But gamma, in terms of, if you're a one-lot trader, gamma may not come into your life very significantly. But as your positions get bigger, as you advance from beginning to intermediate to advanced trader, yes. gamma will become a major part of your trading, no doubt. Yes. Well, you know, I think one of the important points that you were making yesterday was that, you know, when we're talking decay in the option market, you know, there's approximately 21 to 22 trading days that uh, per month, folks, okay? But when you're in the option market, you're talking about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hey, those those weekends right. matter sometimes. They, they like, matter. You know. They oh. matter in a big way, man. I mean, That's right. Having a position with a significant amount of negative theta, which means decay coming out of your account, that'll make you hate weekends and holidays. Yes. You don't want it to ever stop. You want to keep trading, <laughs> keep defending that position. There's no doubt, man. And <laughs> Yeah. And... You know, the weekends always come up quicker than you think anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and like I said, um, you know, you're right, Tom. Options trade five days a week, but options decay seven days a week. Right. You know, you know it's pretty cool that they, they you, it think of swim, folks. Most of the folks that are running the whole deal and that are there, you guys are all on the floor. So yes. it's, it's really intriguing listening and, and what I've listened to and heard over the course of the you know, last 15, 20 years, 
you always want decay on your side. I mean, no matter, it, it, it's almost like that's just, the, that's one of the mantras out there, right? Well, in general, okay. right? most of the time, that's how a retail investor should be aiming. That doesn't say it's 100% of the time. There may be times when you can have long gamma and negative decay, and we're going to show that in today's show. That said, there's things that have to be understood with it, which means a long gamma position, say you're trading long gamma. Yes. That's a position that has to be defended. So you have to be there defending it. Okay. And it's commission intensive. I see. Right, when you trade it. So there's pluses and minuses. But, you know, if you think a market is going to be a, make a big move, but you don't necessarily know which direction. Yes. Then the, the long straddle is the right position to have on. But it's got to make a move that covers that. Uh, the debit that you paid for that straddle. Right. So right. it's a, it's a, you know, it's a two-way street here. If you're, th you remember, for all the people that have been short vertical spreads and they've the the stock has made a big move. Well, the people long options, that's when they make money on sure. big moves. Right. So, that, but that's the trade-off, right? Slow days, weekends, you know, summer months may not be the time to be long gamma and, and have negative theta. So we always talk about, especially for retail traders, aiming towards positive theta coming in your account. We talk about the three pillars, defined risk, high probabilities, and positive theta. Yeah, totally, man. You have to love it. There's no doubt. And folks, no matter where you're listening right now, remember, you can go right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV every trading day, 45 minutes from now. You want a great education. Bottom line, you just hit that Tiger TV button, and uh, Kevin and the uh, team are going to walk you right through that whole area. Now, we still have App Apple's still struggling a little here. It's going to get interesting, huh? Yeah, Apple Apple's down. I see it down about a dollar twenty-four today. I mean, the Nasdaq's down. The Nasdaq futures are down. E mini's down two seventy-five. So we're just kind of, you know, this is not a big, you know, uh, some traders. If you want to be long this market and you're trading, you, you, some traders like buying dips in the morning oh, right, yeah. as a way to get stay lo get long and stay long. And some people say that that's a sign of a good healthy market is when it opens lower than rally. So we'll see if we get that. We don't know, but no, no, I'm uh, with. Uh, I'm with yeah, you. I, Guys, I, I used to like buying dips in the morning. No, I, I, you know what? What ends up happening, especially when you're day trading, with, you know, is that if you let's say you dip in the morning, folks, okay, and you come back slightly, but then later in the afternoon you get under that dip. That's when you know into that close you're going to have. Uh, you may have a problematic market because everyone there. That's not your strategy when you're buying the day. No, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I, and it's funny because, you know, both times if you're going intraday, you're, you're watching that. You sure. know what I mean? It's like, okay, sure. where do we start? You know, are we peeling this off? And, you know, um, and folks, when, when Kevin is, is speaking out there, he's not only giving you strategies, but he's also giving you, um, I know you're not technical, but... The the scaling in and scaling out, Kevin, yeah. I think is huge, man. I, I do it all the time. I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's yeah. every Tom, you know, because I talk about it a lot. Every order I do is scaled. Right. Right. I don't know when the lows and the highs are coming in, but I get in my area and then I scale it from there. You yeah, have to love it. Right here, folks. Forty-five minutes. If you haven't test drove the Thinkorswim platform, just come over to our website, hit it, bring it up. You can walk along. You'll put paper money into your account. You can trade along. Uh, with Kevin and the team. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show in uh, 45 minutes. Have a great day and a great weekend, guys. Thank you, too, man. Too. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down to 23. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 31. You have the NASDAQ off uh, 21. S&Ps are down 4. And Thursday, natural gas. All I know. Right. We're going to the workshop, too. You're going to come visit us in Boston, Let's folks. do it, because we're printing name tags later this oh, yeah. afternoon. Okay. Um, yes. And, of course, you know, people can still sign up. People can show up. But, you know, we're, we're printing the name tags today. So get in there. Get yourself a legitimate name tag. Get, a, get signed up. And uh, we'll be there Saturday morning, man. We fly out tomorrow morning, 7 in the morning. Get set up Friday night, and things kick off Saturday morning, 7.45. We'll do a continental breakfast for 45 minutes. Uh, Dan Cook is going to jump up there for 15 minutes. Nadex putting this whole thing on. Thank you to them for sure. Big time. Big time. And uh, I'm going to jump up there for 15 minutes myself. Then you'll be up there from 9 till 10.30. Good 90-minute workshop. Take a 15-minute break for a little coffee and tea. Get everybody re-energized. Mr. Daryl Martin's going to be flying in from Texas. He's going to jump up there for 90 minutes himself. And then you guys are going to be up there for 45 minutes just kind of talking about the market, taking questions. And it's going to be 70, 75 degrees. What a beautiful thing that it's, is. It's going to be a high of like 60, I think. On, remember, we looked it up on Saturday. 67. Yeah, we looked it, it up yesterday. 61. Numbers just come from... <laughs> it's going to be a low of 49, high of 61, I think, on Saturday. So bring that winter, winter leather jacket for yourself. Winter leather jacket. I haven't worn that in so long. It's insane. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so let's jump over. Today is natural gas, Thursday. Right? Natural yeah. gas, you got it. Um, so we'll jump here. Commodities. We'll go into the spreads. We're going to go into natural gas. Let's start off with the 11 a.m.s. So natural gas right now trading at 303. So it'll look like it's going to be somewhat close. We're going to be two pennies off basically from where that pivot point will be. They got spreads here that start at 305 up to 325, and 305 down to 285. So you got your bullish spread on the left. We'll be buying that. Uh, what are we doing here? 305. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. I was confused by these numbers. Yeah. So um, that would be costing us $8. Yes. Okay. I had, to, I had to acclimate myself. So that is two pennies out of the money right now. Right. Right. It's trading at 303. The spread begins at 305. So that's why it's going to be the cheap one. The one on the negative side, of course, is going to have $20 of intrinsic value already into it. So that's where you're going to get 25 on the negative side and about 8. So you're looking at about $33 and $33 away from 305. Now, this is where you're already, call it a penny and a half, 
to the downside. So slightly bearish trade, as in, you know, you can see the bearish one only needs to move eight ticks to break even. Okay. Whereas the bullish one needs to move a whole two pennies to get to where you get any value. Right. And then move that two to three pennies to break even. So let's just jump around. Now, when these get set, they're going to be set usually on round numbers, as in when we jump to the 12 o'clock, they're not going to have 303 as the pivot point. Okay. okay. So I know already that it's either going to be three to 320 or 305. So same, same thing. So let's just see how these line up for that extra hour. So here's our bullish one. What I, I clicked the wrong one, excuse me. So $10 instead of eight on yep. the bullish side. And on the bearish side, 24. So you're looking at 34, not bad really. No, that's not bad. When that's for that extra hour. Right. Yeah. And let's just, before we jump back to the Bloomberg terminal, let's just take a look at the 230s. So there's something a little intriguing, where if you wanted to go, if you wanted to have a bullish bias instead of a bearish bias, you could get into the 230s. Let me just jump over here. Okay, so those jump too. So going from, <coughs> these are 40 cent spreads, but at least there you're getting in at three right on the dot being the pivot point, so you'd actually have your intrinsic value to the positive side, right? Yes. And then your negative one is going to be the one that is the cheaper one. Underneath, yeah. Yeah. So again, $56, not bad when you consider, though, that if you're bullish, there's a lot more intrinsic value on the bullish side in that trade. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got here. So natural gas right now, interesting, down 1.1%. Oh, look at this, interesting. Okay, so... So yesterday we go top side from 303 to 307, 308 actually, you yep. right back into that area. That those two bars, we had a bar at nine o'clock that had five thousand contracts. You get another one with three thousand. Yeah. So this thing could get down to like three three zero zero six. Okay. Yeah, not quite the move you'd be looking for for that right. type of a trade, right? right? You know, I mean, I think we're trading right now at about 303, 304, yeah, 303.2. Um, and jumping back to even just the 11 AMs real quickly. Here's our 11 AMs. There's our bullish one again. There's our bearish one. Selling the bearish one. Buying the bullish one. So you're looking at thirty dollars. So you need so three cents. Three right? cents away from three oh five. So anywhere from three oh two, you'd start making money. That'd be a break even, or right. three oh eight to the upside. Right. Yeah. And looking at that, I think three. It looks like that. Well, what did I say right there. Yeah, two ninety eight about three. Yeah, two ninety eight. Oh, okay. That, no, the bottom. Sorry, that's right. I was two, looking at your cross yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that would yeah. be right to be right. So no, it's, okay, you're right. The, the top of it is uh, the. No, it's about three. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see where that shakes out. Okay. Um, let's go over, take a look. How about, can at, we yep. jump? We were talking about, yep. how about BlackBerry? Because we were taking a look at them the, during the break, right? Yeah, BlackBerry is uh, <laughs> catching a bid. It is, for the first time in probably a long time. But for the uh, for anybody in that stock, today's a good day, man. You're, you're looking at up um, 10, 14%. Yeah, 10%. Right? 10 um, yeah, big numbers. So they came in, looks like 249 million, I believe was the number, versus about 220. Um, keep going. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 249 versus 220. Man, you know, 220, that's not a big company. You know, that's that's a right. small business almost. Pulling mm -hmm. in, you know, in terms of public companies, it, it definitely is. Right. And they actually made money. They The estimate, I mean, they made there five cents. Yeah. They plan on making, what, that's two-tenths of one cent? Yeah. And, and you should make some money if you're... Pulling in thirty extra million dollars when you're only supposed to pull in, in two hundred and twenty. You know now, that's a big number. And, and um, it's an extra fifteen percent in revenue over a quarter. And, and Tommy and I were looking at this. <laughs> and wait, you see this number? This is like crazy. You want to talk about trying yeah. to keep up with technology, man? You got to right. you got to be willing to change as a company. And they weren't willing to change, and they suffered eleven billion dollars in two thousand thirteen, down to one billion basically in two thousand seventeen. In two thousand eighteen, they're going to be under that number. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's almost like. It's it hard is. to comprehend. It is. Now, jumping over here, you know, the, their earnings, that's not bad in terms of, you know, they're yeah. at least going to be profitable, which, right. which is saying a lot, especially when, look at these numbers. They weren't even profitable. No, and they made it. In it looks like they're going to make it. That's, but just yeah. look, with $11 billion, they weren't even right. having earnings, which right. is pretty they're remarkable that somehow they 
go from 11 billion down to 1 billion and mm -hmm. they're able to make 41 money. cents yeah and so here's the here's the number though software yeah they're not selling phones anymore right they've transformed themselves into a software and services company yeah um because there's 38 percent three-year growth. growth wow versus these the two just going still down, going down 53 so percent yeah. yeah oh they, they're i don't think you're going to see anybody with a blackberry phone anytime soon no <laughs> <laughs> and you know, i had a blackberry for years you did you did and that's why i say they had an opportunity there um, to really capitalize on that, but guess what? They were unwilling to change. Um, and they own they, the business. They got surpassed pretty yeah. quickly. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back with those the natural gas numbers. Dow Industrials right now uh, just about flat. NASDAQ is down 10. SP is also just about flat. We have the gold contract down at 220. Gonna be right back, folks. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from EverBank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. EverBank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had natural gas uh, rise 58 uh, BCF. Let's see what that did to the market yeah, out so here. 58 billion cubic feet. The estimate, I believe, was 68 about, and boom, popped to the upside. Look at that. Yeah. Three. And that would make sense. A little bit less, about 10 billion cubic feet, less than they thought. Less supply, prices going up, right? Um, but that's quite a pop for. for yeah, so that 11 o'clock uh, trade, that was, that was bullish. That would have been a, the volatility trade, but that was slightly bullish, right? 
No, the the three oh five was the pivot point on those. So we had bearish. Oh, okay. um, that's okay. where you you would have had uh, just to jump back in. Here's our eleven a.m.s right there. So it was three oh five to three twenty five. Um, so that's where you needed three oh eight to the upside yeah, began our right, our profit right. potential. Okay. That's why now jumping around. That's why we pointed out the eight till two thirties though. Yeah. That's where you could have had the bullish side three till three oh four, and that's where you know um, you were only paying. For the negative trade here, you were only paying about eight or ten ticks, so that's all you needed to make up to the upside. Um, so right. that would have been a decent trade, yeah. But we'll see. You know, decent trade thirty seconds in, that doesn't mean to be a decent trade by two thirty, <laughs> unless you take the money off, right? Yeah, 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 right. yeah for right. sure. You can right. take it off right now and definitely be right. profitable if you had made that trade. Yeah. Let's go. We'll take. We'll go inside the UNG. So the UNG folks is the ETF structure. In that market, uh, so that's up three cents right now. Just intraday, let's just see how that. Yeah, it's a, well, that's yeah. nice pop. So yeah, a 10, just pop. Yeah, ten six fifty eight. Well, ten, yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at their strength versus the. Oh, let's uh, the. Um, so the basketball scandal, right? Yeah. A tie, so. Rick Patino, right? Is that his Patino? Patino. Yeah, Louisville. That is pretty intense. So I read the article this morning, right? Yeah. And what? You know, nothing. He's dodged a few scandals already, right? Is that you're going to? Well, nothing's proved yet, but what the one of the big well, nothing's just to be fair. Nothing's proved about anything. They're all right, allegations, right, to be fair. Right, but right. but it's <laughs> you know. Uh, well, the what it what the article was about. And this was in the journal, which of you know, okay. which is conservative anyway. But they start laying this thing out, and it was like, wow, that in the United States, he owns Adidas. He is like the guy to go to. Yeah. So and, and yes. so one of the the guys that moved, I guess, last year, that one of the big basketball players. He didn't even like recruit him, and he said, "Oh, this is the luckiest day of my life because okay. this basketball." When you say move, the one of the a player that went to Louisville, is yeah, from oh. high school. Okay, and they hadn't, they supposedly hadn't really recruited him. Okay, but what ended up happening is that the guy that is has turned okay. for the feds, yes. right? That was Patino's contact for Adidas. Okay, and they, they had they, they laid out the meeting, and it's like, wow, yeah. it's like. So they went over it's, how he makes seven million dollars. These guys are in such oh, trouble. Yeah, I mean they they you know he'll be fine financially though. His his real worry right now is that this is a criminal investigation. Well, that's my point. Yeah, you have yeah, as much money as you want if you're in jail. Oh, what difference right. does it yeah. make? No, for right. sure. I just say because he's lost his job. So he he was let go. I believe the um, athletic director at Louisville was let go. Yeah, they've had quite the scandals. At least Patino has. Um, but what was interesting is that so Nike has Oregon as their kind of flagship school because that's Phil Knight. That's yes. where he went to. Right. So they kind of are Nike University, yes. you know, right. whatever it is. Um, Under Armour was started at Maryland okay. with their CEO. I'm forgetting his name right now. So that's kind of their flagship, yeah. right? And Adidas didn't have that. I and see. so what Adidas did though is that they just signed a huge deal with Louisville. 160 million. Yeah. And wow. um, it came out that just a couple of months prior to signing that deal, Adidas, I believe, gave a job to the athletic director's daughter only a couple months prior to that. So there's a bunch going on right. there um, in terms of, but that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to cement themselves as having a university that right. was kind of associated with their brand and a good university. And Louisville has a football team too, you know, that they yep. compete. Um, basketball, they're a powerhouse. We'll see if they survive this though. But either way, Patino didn't survive it. Um, Professionally, we'll see if he survives it criminally, um, because it's just the beginning. Would be my guess as to how deep this really goes. Oh, I know. Yeah. I and I guess what's the next sport? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, and and it would only be um, football and basketball. That's yeah. really where and you know because that's where the bread is. Those are the only sports that make money for the schools. So that's the only sport you're going to spend money to make money, right? And those yeah. are the only sports that actually make money. So those are the two sports that they. Yep. Wow. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go take a look at uh, inside the Dow and the index one hundred. See it's moving out here. So uh, inside the Dow industrials, putting points into it is that you got McDonald's putting twenty positive points. Home Depot six, um, Visa six, Exxon Mobil four, taken away from it. Uh, Apple, Apple's taken away eight. United Technologies seven, Boeing seven. Apple, let's go see. It's no big deal really. That many points is nothing. Yeah, well, Apple's down a buck twenty-three, and we'll see if we get uh, an expansion of volume out here today. So you hit a well. We're gonna look at this. So yesterday, 
you go top side with 25 million, we're already there with 7.4. So Apple's, that's going to be interesting watching this, uh, if Apple has an expansion of volume, because that would set up probability of the test of the low, but you could get lower. Uh, Facebook. Uh, we take a look at Facebook. Facebook's had a rebound from, from Monday, right? Yeah. It, uh, Monday, we had a low out here of 160, 156. You're at 168. We'll, excuse me, folks. We'll see whether they can hold that 168.34 from yesterday. Um, Google, Google had a good day yesterday. Yeah, yeah, Google really didn't even suffer as bad as on Monday no, as the rest of them did. No, it didn't. Google's up uh, 339. We take a look at Amazon. Amazon, let's see, 955. So this is a confirmed ABC down, a complex one. But So this is going to be a big day for Amazon to see whether it can hold even the highs of yesterday. Uh, inside the NDX 100, uh, strength versus the weakness. You have the strength out here. Is American Airlines up 2.7 percent? You get INCY up 1.9. Amgen's up 1.2. QVC is down uh, 4.6. You have uh, Western Digital down 3.9. JD.com is up uh, 2.3. The uh, S and P's right now basically flat. Uh, you get it down one, you get the uh, Dow off four, NASDAQ's down nine, no big deal. Uh, we'll see where this uh, baby shakes out. The GDX, we go over to the GDX. Okay, so this is testing now. What we did in the GDX yesterday, you know, you, you got to a low, low, you broke the swing point, you, but you're coming into some good strength, 55 million, we did 49. Now, I'd like to see this low of yesterday get tested again, with lighter volume, of course. Sure. But, you know, that would be a pretty good set up if it got rejected it got tested and rejected with uh light light of volume let's go take a look at uh good old natural gas ah yeah so not quite the pop and that's why like you're saying you get a nice pop like that and especially if you're making a 30 minute trade and you get a pop like that you better be quick with those fingers sometimes to oh, take that money off it's it's because pretty, if anybody follows the show and we watch these numbers man the first move sometimes it follows through but sometimes it'll take a half hour to move. Sometimes it'll right. pop and then go the other way, as we know. So definitely, and we're pulling right back to that 305 point, which would have been our max loss on those 11 a.m. trades. So, You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And, of course, come up to Boston, visit us. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can sign up right now. Saturday morning, great education, folks. It starts at quarter of eight in the morning, going to one in the afternoon. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of 
timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for the special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effects, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 14. The NASDAQ is down three. S&Ps are up one. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you are going to see right on the front. I had our man, Mr. John Logan, on last night. He's got a new uh, two-hour free market profile course and a huge amount of videos. Yeah, he sure does, man. So this is what we call our carousel. The first one up here is Boston, of course. If you want to get to the second one, you're just scrolling down to the second one. TAS Market Profile, free course. Scroll over. So we'll click on this page. So here is the four modules that he's put together. And, and this is just him and his team. It's just a four-part course, not really to do with the scanner, right? But right. just the market profile system. Because guess what? You need to know what's going on when you use the scanner. Right. And so that's what John is kind of working on to make sure he's educating people. Because the scanner's so awesome, man. But you got to understand a little bit about what you're, what looking, you're at. looking at. Sure. So he's really working on the education. And that's where we'll go over some of the other videos, too, because that's what he's done, working on the education right. of how to use the scanner, what it's telling you, what kind of information it's going over. So here are the four modules. People should definitely check those out. You kind of talked about those with John last night. Now, what else? John's always got more information, man. He no does. How much information he, does. he puts I out. Know. We put together this whole page. He said, man, you got to get the Matrix videos up there. I said, oh, my right. goodness. Okay, we'll get them up there in the morning. So our man Ken was working on it this morning. We got them up there. So if you visit that page, here are the additional eight videos we added just this morning after last yeah. night, okay? So these are the Matrix videos, and these talk about using the matrix now if anyone has a scanner they've tried it out they kind of know what they're talking about and let's just kind of click on the first one we'll yeah. see as it jumps in here and plays okay so here's the matrix and you can use this as you're talking about i'm just seeing if it fast forwards yeah so i mean look at this rule one don't be short in prices so he's teaching you about what these mean you know right. like and how to use these and as you go through here um rule three size matters measure the volatility based on the height okay and as they go across um this is so cool yeah you know it has its own volatility calculating algorithm. The narrower, the top to bottom, and that just goes quick, but you can see, so he's talking about everything in here, and there's an, about another hour long of education just in these matrix videos. And I'm just gonna close that out, and we're just gonna click on like top 10, for instance. So this is the matrix that you can really use these types of presets to determine, are you looking for just bullish setups? Are you looking for bearish setups? Long on a weekly, long right. on a daily? Are you looking for short on a daily? Um, and he just breaks it all down, man. So I plan on watching them myself. I haven't watched them all fully. I've watched the first couple, um, but great education. It's an amazing it piece is. of software. So you get the four modules here. That's market profile. People should go through that. You get the matrix videos talking about how to use the kind of scanning feature of the market profile scanner, yes. where you can really break down, you know, what are you looking for? Are you biased where you're looking for shorts? Are you biased you're looking for longs? Are you looking for longs on a 
daily basis, you're looking for long zone on a weekly basis, right. right? You can break it all down. And then just kind of the more basic introduction of what you're doing in terms of the scanner, the breath, and using manual sorts, and that's kind of talking about the matrix. This is a shorter video for the matrix as well, but please head on over there, check it out. And then, you know, towards the end of the screen too, we have the user manual, right. and we'll pull this up. And man, this is an education in and of itself, but the scanner's so sophisticated that you really gotta kinda put a little bit of time in, but you once you do, we both use it. It right. is an awesome piece of software. And this just goes over everything. You know, what do all the, what do all these things mean? And right. it really does a good job of pointing out what is the dashboard, right? What is the quick view? What is the heat grid? What are the lists, okay? So people can spend some time going over this and it walks you through exactly everything you're looking at. And man, once you really figure out what this thing is showing you in terms of the education, I, know. I don't think you'll stop using it. I really don't. I agree. Yeah. I mean, it, it's amazing what you put together. It, it is. is. absolutely like, he's a math genius, man. Yeah. And um, working with him, he's a programming genius too. And right. so combining those two with the system, he's really put and together. And evidently he can write. Cause I it's, guess it's, it yeah. is, man. And right. you know, when we first started putting out the scanner, one of the you know biggest complaints was just people didn't understand how to use it, right. you know, because it is its own piece of software. Right. You need to understand how to use it, just like TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim, man. Right. They put together whole hour-long shows to make sure people can get the most out of that software. Right. Same with the scanner, you know, it's not just a point and click one thing. Right. You really got to understand it. So, but he put together awesome videos, awesome education. So check it out. We'll have that up there for a while. And you can take a 30-day free trial. You yeah. Know, it's a great deal, doing man. It, so. it is. Click right there, 30-day free trial. He's got another scanner video here. This links back to some of the, the manual we talked about, some of the other videos we talked about. And it's a great deal, man. You get a 30-day free trial. You pay nothing. Try it out for 30 days. And while you're trying it out, that's really where, you know, you get to go over all this stuff and really learn about what you're trying. So yeah. check it out. You're going to love it. So natural gas, back up, 306.50. But again, that'd be about $15 of value to the upside. Trade was going to cost us about $30. So that's not what you'd be looking for mm -hmm. if you were making that trade. We'll see. So what do you got? You got S&P 500 here. As yeah, I get, I get the 2 ones. Okay. And the... Uh, oh, you got 10 of them. Here we go. Well, that yeah. makes... You, they're, they're, they're less expensive when you're trading these 10... They were, they were cheap. Two-hour trades, I, yeah. And I bought them out of the money. I yeah, bought no, them that's three right. points out of the money. So you're looking at twenty four ninety nine. Looks like where you got 70 in. 70 bucks, I think. $7 per contract, right? Because right? you're getting in. You know, the ceiling is $2,500. you are selling them at twenty four ninety nine point three. So really, your loss potential is from twenty four ninety nine three up to 2500 Right. Which is, you know, 70 cents in Not the S&P. Right. It'd be $7 per contract. And guess what? If you got a run down to twenty four ninety. By 12 o'clock, you're risking seven to make 93 on a bad trade. I know. Yeah. And yeah, I'll show you. So if we look, you know, what happens here, of course, time is going, well, it's not against me yet, you know, because I get. We should, wait, I, we'd get Kevin hour. Hinks on the line, man. You got theaters that, against you, decay yeah, right. every second that moves when you're trading. No, no. Yeah. So what you're looking at here, you know, this this morning we, we got down to this 2499. What I'm looking at is see over here from yesterday. Sure. That 2493 sure. is a high volume swing low, folks. That I'm looking yeah. at. Say, okay. And every S&P point is worth $10 in that trade right. per contract. Right. So that's where, you know, you don't need to get the 2490 no. for that trade to be obviously successful. No. Anything and below 2499 Point three becomes uh, profit. That's right. Yeah. And just just the twenty exactly, just the twenty four ninety nine from this morning, you know, would that'd be, be break even thirty basically. bucks. Right. Exactly. Well keep it per contract. That'd be three dollars per contract, right. thirty dollars. But you're paying commission there, just to be fair. Right. So that would be just about break even over break even. Yeah. yeah. But Sherman Williams come out and now it's paint and green again. Yeah, that, that wasn't the plan, I'm guessing, when you went in. No. There. Right. <laughs> Let's go over to the IBB and take a look at the IBB. That's been coming up to the uh, highs up here. So we're at 330.85. Yep, I wouldn't be selling that just yet because, you know, what you got here, I was pushing with volume at 333 on the 25th. When, I, when you do something like that, it's like it always seems to want to test the highs. You know, so you got a rejection of lower price out here today. Uh, that being said, now watch. Oh no, this is not an IBB. I mean, it's not a biotech that blew up today, but there's, there's a blow up in here. So a Dexcom. What is this? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so, down from about 67, down 24. In one day. Yeah, 35, 40 percent down. Medical device focused on design development of continuous glucose monitoring systems with so diabetes. Diabetes. Okay, so. The low is today, 42. The so highs. Just that the company has developed a small implantable device that continuously, continuously measures glucose levels. Um, and that's a big deal, obviously. We know people with diabetes, they're always measuring you know, their glucose levels. Yes. That's where you have to 
I'm just, I just yeah, want to look it. at this gross. Okay, so they're grossing 720 million. Good growth. That was as of this morning. I, yeah. I wonder if those estimates will be changing on whatever news just came out. Right? Yeah, let's see. The Abbott Labs got approved. Maybe okay. it's the same type of deal. Sure. Yep, there you go. So Abbott got an approval, and I'm guessing that's going to compete Competition. with Competition. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's up 18. NASDAQ is down 7. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge here daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, yeah, so this is um, Bitcoin Investment Trust Exchange listing hopes put on hold. So <clears throat> Grayscale and uh, Investment Bitcoin Investment Trust, which trades over the counter and is the loan vehicle available to institutional investors, are unlikely to list on the NYSE ARCA market after the exchange withdrew in an application to the SEC for approval amid regulatory uncertainty. Now, I've got a lot of calls on this, and sure. this is going to be pricey premium. And I was... I think there's people that were buying this didn't realize, you know, you're, you're buying something at a 73% premium. I remember going over this briefly at yeah, one point. Yeah, right. And let's see. So Grayscale has been closely monitoring regulatory developments in these markets. And although digital currency regulation okay. continues to uh, rapidly evolve at this time, Grayscale does not believe that they have been enough regulatory developments to promote, to prompt an SEC approval. So what's cool is here is the chart you're talking about. So Bitcoin trust price surges relative to the underlying assets. Yeah. So here is the trust price 
in white. Yeah. The net asset value in blue. Right. And then here's the difference in purple. Wow. So that's where you see the spread um, where, and I think that was probably the time when we were beginning to talk about it where it was almost a $600 spread between the beginning of it and look at that tank from 600 spread to 200 yeah. and then back up to 400 but right. maybe that I don't know if that's as of live right I mean that that could be weakening as we speak with this news yeah yeah and that's uh, that's so that's, they noted that the SET, SEC turned down two applications for similar virtual currency products earlier in the year and said it plans to keep in touch with regulators and bottom line is there hasn't been good news for Bitcoin recently no well, in fact let's just gonna look because sure, yeah. there are things right there okay GBTC GBTC this is over the counter still so look at 719 and <clears throat> that's still a 92 percent premium okay oh my god but 92 percent to be fair what's that 3350 or something it was up to 600 at one point that's all yeah still huge stay I, right there folks think of swims coming up basil chapman steve rose dave white myself see us in boston that's we'll right out of here thanks pal thanks man <laughs> Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.